Well, I've got some really good news for you, and it's really based upon a question I am getting pretty much every day right now. How is the condo market in the Daytona Beach area? Well, I have some really good news. This is Ron Wysikarski at Wise Home Team Realty, and hot off the press, we've got the report. And the first thing that I can tell you is that condo sales, they, they remain sky high. We are seeing incredible numbers when we compare back to 2019, when we didn't have all the concerns we have with 2020. So here's what I am finding super, super interesting. The first thing, the sales from the November report show 152 sales in 2020, only 102 last year when things were arguably, I'll just say better. That's a huge, huge increase in sales year over year. Median sales price last year was 204. This year it clicked in at 2. 56. So again, dramatic. I mean, it's a $52,000 increase in the median price. Not all of that is because of street view versus direct ocean front. That's, that's a big sample size. So we are seeing incredible gains over 2019 in 2020. Who'd have thought that? What's also interesting is that when you look at the number of condos that were sold just dramatically more and in a better way. Now, I will tell you this, October of 2020 compared to October 2019 was also a big jump. I mean, that was 204 this year, 146 last year. So about 50 more each month, almost 60 in October. Now, if there's a little downside to this, it would be in the form of what we told you was going to happen. We felt that there was going to be opportunities for buyers in the months of November and December, and it happened. And here's what it plays out to do. We felt that the election were going to cause people to pause, not stop, just pause, delay some purchases. And we felt that as the inventory increased just a little bit, that there might be some opportunity for a buyer to find a seller that was willing to sell for maybe a little bit less than in the summertime to get that property sold. That's exactly what's happening. Because what we see now is that the number of sales went down from October to November, which is normal. Because if you look at the 2019 numbers, 146 compared to 102, we see 204 going down to 152. So about the same slide, the natural drop from October to November. We, we sense that. But what we also saw was that the median sales price was about the same. It actually went up a little bit from October this year to November. Now, if I was to put all this in a bag and shake it up and, and come out with some information that would really help you out, here's what I would tell you. That there were opportunities for buyers to maybe get a little bit better price. And in many cases that happened, but they found the right property and at a large rate, much more than last year. And because they found the right property, some of those sellers are able to be off the market right now, altering the inventory levels just a little bit. Some of those sellers were able to lock in profits on this year's tax return, which could be a really important write-off for them as we move forward into uncertain times of what's going to happen with tax laws in 2021. Now, if you're waiting for the market to drop, we saw the median sales price went up. And when I say there was opportunities for buyers to get a price that they might not have got over the summer, even though it went from 256 to 260, I believe if you look at a composite of those numbers, you might see that those numbers are off a little bit from the summertime and a better deal than you would have gotten over the summer. That's playing out. Inventory is still super low. There's a great demand out there for these condos. And interestingly enough, the Snowbirds, they're finding ways to get down here. I don't think they'll be absent this year. They'll, they'll figure out a way to do this. It's, it's showing up in the phone calls that we're receiving. But I also know this. It's the end of the year coming up. And it's not a year-end clearance. But there are some sellers out there that have a very specific goal to close by December 31st. And if you have cash and the ability to close before December 31st, and we identify the right seller that needs to close by that date for a perceived tax advantage, I think there's deals in there. I know there's deals in there and it happens every year. You know, we're on the 8th, there's 23 shopping days left and someone's gonna find a condo for a little bit less because quite honestly, the seller could accept a little bit lower of an offer if the tax benefit they're gonna receive outweighs that difference. This is a big thing. And if we go into the next year, that seller may change their position about where they're going to negotiate because they're going to have a different tax structure to that. So this is a big thing at the end of the year. If you've been paying attention, we mentioned there would be a chance to get a deal, a better deal than could have gotten in the summer, and it happened. And I think there's more deals to happen between now and the end of the year. Now, not everybody's that aggressive and not everybody wants to be in a condo that quickly. But if you are, there's no time then like right now. 
And if you're a seller, think of it this way. Any buyer is looking over the holidays, especially the last few weeks of the year, they're serious. They're engaged and they're writing offers and they're succeeding. This is absolutely a market where the buyers can get a better deal and the sellers can sell and get some advantages, whether it's tax or otherwise, they're just offloading the property that maybe they're not using anymore. It's, it's a brisk and exciting market. Things are happening suddenly and it's really interesting to watch. If there's one other thing I would point out, there's been 1,654 condo sales year to date, at least by the numbers we got from the Daytona MLS, versus 1,418 last year. So more than 200 condos sold in addition to the ones from last year. Think about that. It's what, 15, 20% increase in the number of condos sold, and there's gonna be more by the end of the year. It's all about people wanting to move, and people continue to move to the area. So I believe that these sales trends continue, and if anything, ramp up a little bit. It will be interesting to see if we get more inventory after the first of the year, when many people perceive it's a better time to sell after the first. I think the savvy sellers are on the market right now, or getting on the market right now, and getting a jump on everybody else, where there's less competition, some people are going to have some days off. They're going to have time to look at properties. They're definitely going to be looking online. There's no time like right now to get on the market, get the jump on everybody else if you're so inclined. But this can be a really interesting start to 2021, and I can't wait to see what happens. If you have questions about this or are enjoying this type of content, please you know click, like us, comment below. Definitely, definitely subscribe. And we look forward to helping you out. Racing to the finish. We're going to finish this year strong, and I think dramatically increased sales will just continue into 2021. I don't see the market slowing down. This is Ron Wysikarski at Wise Home Team Realty, and there's your condo market snapshot.